if you're a refugee in a car you just can't stand, and it doesn't give you any kind of feeling inside other than it just gets you from point A to point B, it's time to make a change, damn it. And uh, you know what's funny is I actually have a Fiat 500. I know it sounds kind of odd. I got it for my wife because I thought she needs she needs a reboot, a car reboot, because she'd been a mom for so long, soccer mom, all the big SUVs. And so uh, I got her this little Fiat 500 Abart, and every time you start it up, it's like, argh, argh. it's like a little dog that growls, and it's just it's just the sound of it. It it it, it makes you pay attention. And uh, Matt Davis is here. I don't know what the heck he does with uh, Fiat, but he works for him. What do you do over there now? I do product for North America. Well, I'm really yeah. enjoying it. Well, you should. You got a fun little car. You, you, I mean, it's like, who doesn't smile when they're driving that little Fiat 500? That's exactly right. Yeah. We're not a commodity. You enjoy driving the car, going from A to B. You actually, like you said with your wife, you actually get behind the wheel, and it puts a smile on your face. It's an automotive reboot. Yes. You know, I mean, it makes you think. It's, and, a, it's a blast. It is. It's an absolute blast. And she tells me all the time, she's like, I just love my little car. Oh, you know, took, I mean, we've been married 28 years almost here, and it's like, finally, she's becoming a car guy. She looks at cars differently. You know what did that? The bloody little Fiat 500 Abart. I'm very happy to hear it. This you is know, bizarre, isn't it? It's great. Who would have thought? It's a fun brand, and we've expanded a lot this year, bringing an electric car and the 500L, so even more options for people that you know need a little bit more space to uh, get into the Fiat brand. What are you doing here at the LA Auto Show? Anything particular? You know, we have a couple uh, concepts with the uh, surf car we have from Mopar, and then we have the GQ edition, which is the first time that uh, Condé Nast has actually uh, collaborated with a, a brand, and so we have a very unique uh, Fiat version of that, Cabrio. And then we have the 1957, which is uh, really to talk about the history, the rich history of the Fiat brand uh, all over the world, you know, sold. So you got a little, a little, what do they call those, Cinquecento. Yes. Right? <laughs> the yeah. Fiat 500 so, Italian. Exactly. So we have a, a model that's going to pay uh, a little homage back to uh, when it all started back in 1957 with the new 500, which right. is really what changed it all. Yeah, my dad had one, by the way. Anyway, yes, you're right. A lot of history and, and a fun little car. And uh, we've got, I think, about maybe 18,000 miles on it. Not a single problem, not an issue. Everybody has to come over and talk about it and talk yeah. about what a cute car it is. And so, and I, But I heard you say something, Mopar. Mopar? Mopar and Fiat? Yeah. What's going on there? Well, Mopar is the uh, global uh, part dis uh, distributor for for our company. So we're doing a lot with Mopar to try to bring parts and accessories from Europe and stuff that they created here to add that uh, whole personalization thing to the 500, which has been doing great with uh, various stickers and uh, a lot of uh, modifications that through performance parts or whatnot that we're going to be able to bring to the market here very quickly. So they go to Mopar and they can kind of juice it up a little bit, put the better exhaust, the Absolutely. Brembo brakes and things like that. No, those are the things they're looking at. Short throw shifters, Brembo brakes, new exhaust tips, um, new exhaust systems, uh, things that we can do to really enhance the, the sound and the performance of the car. But then you have all the things that like leather kits and different things that people want to personalize that they're going to offer as well. Unreal. A fun little car, just a joy to drive. The Fiat 500, the uh, Sport sport Edition would be called. I have. I got a 2012 model, not a single problem with it. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Brother. Did you Did you actually go on the Abar track experience? I damn right did. That's why I bought the car. Oh, yeah. On the racetrack, it's ridiculous. I got a rail. It's like a Disneyland e-ticket ride. <laughs> All right, brother. That's it for about an hour here. Um, We've got a couple more hours to go here at the Los Angeles Auto Show. Matt Davis from Fiat. Thank you, man. Always a pleasure. Congrats on all the good the good stuff going on. Our show is brought to you in part by uh, Bridgestone, and they're passionate about making tires you can count on to perform when it matters most. Also, thanks to Brimbo Brakes, which I have on a number of my vehicles, including my Fiat Abarth. And also thanks to Craftsman, America's most trusted tool brand, Made to make, Craftsman Tools. And Subaru, love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Haynes Automotive Repair Manuals, they're the worldwide leader of automotive and motorcycle repair information for over 50 years. You're listening to The Drive, check out our website. You can hear podcasts of our show. And uh, we'll be back with more after the news.